going to make some cheese puffs. These cheese puffs are made with Gruyere cheese and pancetta. So we have Swiss cheese and Italian bacon. What a great combination. They're almost like a gougere or a cream puff dough that we're making. In my pan, I have a half a stick of butter and one cup of water. I'm gonna to add to that, to make it a little bit more savory, just a touch of dry mustard powder, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. And now we're gonna bring that to a boil. And after that comes to a boil, we're gonna add some flour and make a dough. These are really good. Um, we made these not too long ago, and they, they really go well as a side accompaniment to a salad or soup, or if you want to make them for a cocktail party, those are a nice little thing to munch on while you're having a glass of wine or a beer or whatever. So just wait until this comes to a boil. You want the butter to melt. All right, our butter is melted and the water is boiling. So I have here a half a cup of all-purpose flour, which I'm going to add all at once. And we're just gonna mix it, mix it, mix it until it forms a dough. And then we're just gonna keep cooking it until it's dry enough and it pulls away from the side of the pan and the bottom of the pan. That's pretty close. It's not sticking to the bottom. It's not sticking to the sides. So remove that. And we're going to take it now and put it into the bowl of our electric mixer. And to it, I'm going to add some eggs, two whole eggs. But to add the eggs into that warm mixture right now might start curdling them. So I'm going to let it mix. Now, after I add the eggs, I'm going to add the cheese, which I have four ounces of finely grated Gruyere cheese. And I have two ounces of very finely chopped pancetta, which I kind of sauteed a little bit on a frying pan to get a little crispy flavor to it. Now I'm going to add the cheese and the pancetta. You could use regular bacon. You don't have to use pancetta in this, but I really like the pancetta. And then I have a couple of cookie sheets with parchment paper, or you can just lightly spray it with cooking spray or grease it if you want to. Okay. Now, you don't want to make these too big. I, I made the mistake of making these ones really big and they got really big in the oven and took a lot of time to cook. So I use a tablespoon measure. And just make a little mound. These will spread a little bit. I'll puff. Try to mound them. We're going to bake these at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. But first, we're not done with them yet. We're going to gild the lily and add more cheese. Now I have an egg wash here, which consists of a beaten egg and some water. And we're just going to, you can, at this point, you can kind of shape your little puffs, any strays that are hanging off the sides. Push them together and make a nice mound. These are the kind of things that sitting on the counter after you bake them, somebody walks by and grabs one, and you'll notice they'll be back in a couple of minutes. 
and they'll take two that time. All right, now I have some grated Parmesan cheese, and we're just going to sprinkle that over the tops. Now, I'm going to finish my next tray, put them in the oven, and I'll show you what they look like when they're all done. Our Gruyere and pancetta puffs are all done out of the oven. They're nice and warm. They're crispy on the bottom. They're delicious. They are great with a salad, a nice bowl of soup, or if you have a cocktail party, they're good finger food for a cocktail party. I hope you enjoy them.